If you're interested in trading with BetAngel, then visit our website where you can download a free trial of BetAngel Professional and BetAngel Trader. If you want to learn how to use them, then visit the Academy where we give you a detailed, structured walkthrough of each product. And if you're an existing user, then head on over to the forum where we have a load of files for you to download to customize and use within BetAngel. So when I produce uh, videos where I'm trading, I tend to keep the ladder as neat and tidy as I possibly can. I don't want to make it sort of messy and for you to have to spend 10, 15 minutes to get it to the stage where it looks the same as mine. Now, the great thing about BetAngel, uh, or one of the great things about BetAngel, is you can actually change the ladder um, however you wish. So you can actually set up the ladder um, to have so much modification, it's unreal. But it's quite easy as well if you go to the ladder settings to import and export settings. If you go onto the forum, we've got example ladders that you can download and import into BetAngel. But basically you can do the same as well. You can customize it however you wish. And then once you have customized it, you can click on the save as option to call it whatever you wish. And then it will appear in a drop down box um, for you to change backwards and forwards. Before you mess around with the ladder, it's always worth saving it as a default so that you have something you're familiar with. And if you completely mess up your modification, you can just switch back to the default and start all over again. So that's the first thing that I recommend that you do. I also recommend that you pin the settings because this will mean that that remain, it keeps focus and it stays on top. Uh, because as you're moving around the ladder, it may switch uh, settings or other information and then this settings window may just disappear. So pin the settings to the top so you can see the immediate effect that the ladder or the, the, the settings that you're modifying are having on the ladder. So I don't know if you've noticed um, already on here but if you look uh, did you see that 23 appear? We'll see something else appear there in a second. 15, 100, 100. 50, 10. So what is this showing you? This is showing you how much money is being matched at that particular price. This is a ladder settings. It's not on by default. You don't tend to see it in my videos, um, but you can switch this on if you so wish. And to do that, you would go to general. Um, highlight last traded odds is basically uh, the colors that you can see here. And this is the show the last traded volume. It's currently clearing that down every 500 milliseconds. But if we wanted to, we can actually get it to hold it there for a second. And then you can actually see what was getting matched there. Um, or you could speed it up and you can get it to flash in and out really quickly. It's up to you how you wish to do that. The full market depth is basically the amount of money waiting to get matched. And most of the other things you're sort of familiar with because you can actually change the color of the uh, traded volume over here. And you can also change the time frame of the uh, tra traded volume indicators as well. However, in version 155 or above, we've modified this slightly so that you can actually show the traded volume amount or you can show it as a percentage of the selections volume. You'll probably find this is more helpful than having a look at it in the traded volume amount. So here you can see traded volume amount. There's £5,000 here, £4,000 there. But we can transform the way that we look at the market by doing this. So you can see 32% has been matched at 4 or 4.1. And you can see also that, you know, there's less than 20% has been matched below that. So that just gives you a different angle. And especially near crossover points, this is quite important because this will give you a good indication as to where the bias is. You could, you just saw it happen there. You, you just saw it happen right in front of me. Couldn't have made that up. <laughs> so um, you can also display it as a percentage of the total market volume, which can give you a good indication. So 11% of the entire market is on the favorite at 441. It gives you a little bit of a different view in terms of the way that you interpret what's going on uh, within the market itself. Um, you can see ladder centering here as well. That's predominantly for in play or for sort of longer term um, management of, let me just switch this back. There we go. Uh, of uh, a number of things. You can play with that if you want. Um, I don't tend to use it pre-off because you want precision when you're clicking, but you may want to use ladder centering in play. Um, but at the bottom here as well, you can see that we can actually apply shading um, to the market as well. So you can see that uh, we can apply shading to uh, every cell from the best price onwards uh, where there is money available. 
And the advantage of doing it where, um, if, if I apply this to none of the um, cells, you can see that there are a number of different uh, ways that the, uh, the market can display information, or the ladder rather can display information. But if you use shading, then one of the advantages that you could use on here is if we shade all, all cells um, where money is available, then what this actually does is it highlights gaps in the market for you. So can you see a couple of gaps up here? So this can be quite helpful um, for you. But you can see there are a number of options within there as well. Highlight the best three prices available. It brings your attention and focus to that point within the market. But you can see there are a number of different options there that you may want to examine. Um, or you may just not want the distraction at all. It's entirely up to you. But if you've made a modification, then you go to the Save As function and then you can um, call it whatever you wish. My special ladder, I shall call this one. Um, but you, there are other options you can mess around with as well. So you can mess around with the colors and the design of the individual columns. So I saw somebody recently on the forum actually change the color of the traded volume uh, to black because what that actually did uh, was highlighted um, let me bring this, yeah, I've got it over What this actually did was this actually highlighted um, certain characteristics of the market via the traded volume column. And um, if I go up here and select uh, my special ladder, there you go. You can see what that looks like. And if you don't like that, you can always go back to your default. Very, very simple and easy to do. But by basically messing around uh, with all of these settings, you can get a different view on the market and look at it in slightly different ways, which I think you'll find very beneficial. Big back order came in on the favorite there. I don't know if you saw that. I find it impossible to narrate and not look at stuff that's going on within the market. Um, but obviously we've also got markers. Um, you can apply charts on the ladder. You can modify the way that the unmatched bets look. You can display inf additional information above or below the ladder. Um, you can do all sorts of clever things. Uh, you can switch the columns around and so on. But basically, once you've done that, you can save it um, and then import or export if you want to uh, bring in something or store it somewhere uh, or share it with somebody else. So yeah, lots of options available within the ladders. Some of those you may not have seen before, which is why I thought I'd do this video. But I hope that has been helpful to you.